It's five minutes till showtime. It's time for an intermission. And there's time before the next show begins to take your family to our concession stand. You'll find fresh hot popcorn, delicious candy bars, whatever your family desires. And you'll find the greatest treat of all, knee-high beverages. Yes, golden knee-high orange is the quality refreshment beverage that comes in quantity size. Everyone in the family will enjoy the true fruit flavor of knee-high orange. It's the beverage that meets all of your refreshment desires. Perfect for flavor, perfect for enjoyment. Treat yourself to the biggest treat of all, knee-high orange. And an extra attraction, this theater also serves quality famous Royal Crown Cola, the cola that's oh, best wow. by taste test. For real enjoyment, visit our concession stand and ask for Royal Crown. It's four minutes till showtime. See these two portable radios? Well, watch this. Let her go, Betsy. Sorry, friend. You old-style portables have to go. But look at our new RCA Victor portable radio. Came through without a chip. Here's the world's first and only portable radio in the non-breakable impact case. So rugged, it's the only radio case with a five-year guarantee against chipping, cracking, or breaking in normal use. Of course, a tube might jar loose, but that's easily fixed. The important thing is RCA Victor's non-breakable impact case means no chipping, no cracking, no breaking. And hear that tone. It's RCA Victor's great golden throat sound. See the world's only portables with the non-breakable impact case as low as $27.95 at your RCA Victor dealer. It's three minutes till showtime. Clothing values are high and the prices are low. That's why at Robert Hall, Robert Hall, you save on family clothes. No. Rest easy, knowing that Wario is just, he's just code. He's just programming, mm -hmm. which means he's never going to be able to find love, ever. He's not going to be able to feel love. He doesn't know what it is. He's not even happy about this. He doesn't oh, have feelings. Wow. He's a piece of shit, garbage, dumpster, trash man. It's two minutes till showtime. Now there's a soft drink from the Coca-Cola company that makes it fun to be thirsty. Discover Fanta brand flavors. It's one minute till showtime. <whistles> yes, sir. The hot dogs at our concession stand do rate an appreciative whistle. You'd like. <laughs> I want to know the answer. Yes, there is an eye. <laughs> yes, and now we're out of vowels. Banana. Convenience store manager. <laughs> mm -hmm. It could have just as easily been oh, convenience store coming. banana, okay? Want to see how you're doing? Let's take a look. Settle back now, content, comfortable, well fed, and ready for some fine entertainment. Is everybody happy? 
Then let's go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Dude, it's a Halloween miracle. Thank you so much, Striped Crusader, for gifting 15 subs. Hey, everybody. <laughs> did I eat Luke? I did not eat Luke. Not yet. Uh, Luke is busy today working on other things. So I decided to give him a uh, little break. I think we can at this point say that, <laughs> that Minecraft Monday is on a bit of a uh, hiatus. I, I I definitely want to stream with Luke again, but we, I actually have other ideas to uh, stream with him. So when he comes back, it'll probably be something new. But, uh, you know, he'll be back when he's back. How are you guys doing? Happy Monday. Yeah, we'll always have the Walmart. We'll always have the Walmart. Honestly, Minecraft Monday was getting a little like it was becoming like mindless Monday. I I, I liked I like to play Minecraft, but streaming Minecraft, it, I was kind of slowly turning my brain into mush. I feel like. <laughs> uh, Himbo Prime, thank you for the nine months. Uh oh, time to abort this brutal baby. Don't like that. Demon Bunny TV, thank you for the two months. Yippee! Don't like that. No, just kidding. <laughs> Soft Crisp, thank you for the 51 months. Silent Lucidity, thank you for the 28 months. Franny Aggie, thank you for the 24 months. Two whole years of Moose Mania. I haven't caught a live stream in a while. This brings, uh, this makes being homesick worth it. Hope you feel better, Franny Aggie. They changed the background. No, I did, um, I did brighten up my camera after the complaints that I was, uh, disappearing into the darkness. I did turn the brightness up on my camera so you could see my uh, my face. If you must. I still think if you got like a, a post-it note, you could just like, like right over my face. You wouldn't even have to see it even a little bit. Teeny Little Worm, thank you for the eight months. Danny the Demon Art, thank you for the 22 months, Danny. Uh, says, I am... Electra Kelly, thank you for the 41 months. Moth Sarcophagus, thank you for the 12 months. A big, big thank you again to Stripe Crusader for gifting the uh, 15 subs. Oh, your TV is too big. Oh, your TV is too big. <laughs> you could tape up a, uh, a printer paper. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for sorry for roasting. I'm actually not sorry. I like to roast. Wicked Whisper. Thank you for the 48 months. 48 months. Been amazing being jeer. Thank you so much, Wicked Whisper. Glad to have you. It kills me. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that we just played this, I think, in season one of Bingo 98, but I don't care. I don't care. Trevor! Trevor! Thank you for the 16 months. Has this alert played yet? I'll wait. I'll wait to read it till it plays. So I've played Pajama Sam 1 approximately, what? A hundred times, maybe? I've streamed it at least. I mean, it's got to be pushing it 10 or more <laughs> over... Uh, uh, the course of the years. But I love this game. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for something... Uh, I'm, like, I'm like sleepy today. I'm feeling more energized now that I'm chugging G Fuel and I'm live. But uh, I wanted something I could kind of shut my brain off 
just a little bit because I've already played it so many times. And I also really want to get one of the alternate routes. I feel like every time I play it, we just do the basic route. And I really want to do the pencil route uh, with the, the demolition guys. I'm, I'm still on um, the Raspberry Lemonade gonna make G Fuel. All the money now. Gonna make all the money now. This is my dance. It's kind of like walking in place a little bit. Wicked Whisper, thank you for the $50. Can't wait to see how Ian compares against Doug's uh, Al. Doug's, uh, Doug's AI. Good luck. I don't, I don't know what that means, but thank you very much, Wicked Whisper. Who is Doug, and uh, who's Doug's a Al? Does Doug have an Al or an AI? What am I missing? I'm missing something here. Doug Funny? Douglas Al? Doug Doug... Doug Doug programmed an AI to beat the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, at this point, I have programmed myself to beat the game, so it should be good. Hunter B21, thank you for the prime sub. It didn't go well. Oh, this is going to go well. This is going to go well. I might even find all the socks if I get crazy. And yesterday, one, two, thank you for the 28 months. Hey, Ian. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you're uh, having a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I'm stalling just a little bit as people uh, trickle on in. Just watching the Nancy Drew stream. We gotta do we gotta do the Drew again soon. Can't go can't go another full year without playing a Nancy Drew, that's for sure. So I'm thinking about doing this, and then um, later this month, I think um, I mean I've got other spooky things I want to play. But if I get um, you know, if I get a little uh, in the mood, I think um, Freddy Fish. Haunted Schoolhouse would also be good. Ripper. Uh, Ripper's not on the table. I think it's on a shelf currently. But, I mean, it's, you know, I, I have a lot of games. I can't, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to overpromise anything. Ah! Let's all just uh, enjoy Pajama Sam 1 today. And whatever happens in the future, that's future Ian's problem. Have I considered playing The Sims? <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the for the story? You gotta pay attention. It's very uh very important to the game, so here we go. We're gonna start Pajama Sam in No Need to Hide. When it's dark outside. It makes sense because if it's dark outside, no one would be able to see you anyway. So hiding seems like it would be much more advantageous were it light outside. You know? Boink. The bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister oh, plot! Wow. This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal. This guy always looked like a blueberry person to me. Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend! And I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah, not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, Sam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide. Fatty Bear. Dark 
outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. Little baby. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! You know, we collect socks. Oh, where's my Pajama Sam mask? But he's always wearing, like, footy pajamas. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. You ever learn why Sam's head is just transforms into the hair? I think he's just made out of hair. I think he's just full hair. Yeah, but we always see him, like, in every game, right? He's just wearing this. So, I mean, do you wear socks under something like that? Or... I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. I wouldn't, no. I, that's why I'm saying it's weird that we're collecting socks. Because he doesn't seem to be, you know, wearing socks. Okay. Nothing there. You had a crush on him as a kid? He's two years old. <laughs> He's two year, years old. Gokai Orange, thank you for the six months. Robot Corgi Cat, thank you for the 16 months. And Stoudman, thank you for the 17 months. I'm scared. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be all right. I promise it only gets uh, very scary. I mean, that was scary, right? No, I don't know if Sam was too. I was just making a joke. <laughs> I was just making a joke. I don't know anything. Gotta protect my secret identity. Now I just need my lunchbox and my flashlight. Uh, what are you doing here? Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. No, he's definitely two. Two years old. Okay. Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes two D batteries. You know? He's two years old and he's made out of hair. Lunchbox. And that's, that's uh, backed up. That's uh, Humongous Entertainment said that in the guidebook for sure. Hey, my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Who threw this away? I can keep darkness in here after I capture him. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. Oh my God. If I, if I made some merch... Where it was a nightlight with, like, my smiling, creepy-ass face <laughs> you could plug into your wall. Uh, who's buying that? Who's going to buy a nice light-up <laughs> nightlight Ian? <laughs> I could watch all of you while whilst you sleep. All right, I'm ready for action. Loud enough, by the way? You, you hear, hear everything? Here comes Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? <gasps> there he goes. This entire game is just like a... Like a coma dream. I think I think Sam just like trips over something in the closet, smacks his head, and uh, just kind of like lays there wow. <laughs> throughout the entire game. Lives all right. I better go find him before Mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. Okay. I'll take some time to click around. I'm not going to, like, run through the game. Oh, I don't, I don't like the squishy baseball bat. Back in my day, we had Pong. 
Now there was a video game. <laughs> uh, well, I love that. Back in my day, we had Pong. Boy, I had no idea my closet was this big on the inside. Okay, since I've played this a billion times, if you want to alert me for socks, uh, feel free. Feel free. You can just go, sock, sock, sock. I'm all right with that. Whoa! Customs, customs, Inspector Hunt. Well, 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 what have we here? Hey! Like a flashlight and a signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Did you declare these before entering the land of darkness, young man? Declare? Well, no, I guess not. I, I do don't. declare. We'd better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. <laughs> Hey, I need those! And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like. Hmm? My pajama Sam mask. <laughs> pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right then, pajama Sam. You can, you can go, but I've got my eye on you. Uh-oh. A metaphor, thank you for the two months. Dangus Magoo, thank you for the 22 months. Time to put on some pajamas. Who's in pajamas right now? Do I see a sock? Any socks? Oh, I do see a sock. Another sock. I better pick it up like mom said. I should match up these. Man, that's a lot of people in PJs on a Monday. Ten pairs of socks. Bump, 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 bump. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> My well, there you go. <laughs> On holiday. All right. All right. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. You can borrow that if you like. <laughs> Thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah. How am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. <laughs> what am I wearing? Uh, later, okay? Good luck. Uh, you could call them PJs. They're not PJs, but they're like home pants, you know? It's pretty much the same thing. Hypocrite? Never. Never. Never, ever, ever, never. Never. It's me, Eric D. Thank you for the 21 months. 21 whole months. Thanks for always being a great and chill streamer to watch. Not a problem. Thanks for watching, Eric D. Cut her down. <laughs> Sounds like a PJ. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. I don't I don't really have pajamas. I feel like pajamas are are too warm. I don't know how people sleep in, like, a, a pajama. This onesie that PJ Sam has on, the footy pajamas, I could not sleep in that. Lost a rope. Even a little bit. At least I got this great piece of wood. Do the environments in this game are so good? Unmatched? So much to click on. So many animations, honestly, is the crazy thing. In the world of sports, here's the seedings for the tournament today. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I didn't like that. A little dance move. Uh, that one's not that much better. Wait, oh, yeah, this I don't like. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like either of those. Boogie Elephant, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you very much. You think Sam is white? He's clearly blue. What are you talking about? He's a blue hair creature. We've already established this. Scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. 
Okay, yeah, let's go to the let's go to the house. Oh, I see a sock. I see a sock. Hold on. Go back. <gasps> yep, this is Darkness's house, all right. Oh, another sock. Another sock. I just said that, dude. Ooh, toothpaste color. What if he is toothpaste? And it's not like hair. It's just kind of like, you know, like a spiky toothpaste. I got a sock. Not a, a spiky toothpaste. That doesn't convey what I'm trying to say. It, like when you, like a, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't put whatever I'm trying to say into words. When you, uh, sw yeah, toothpaste swoop. Yeah. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. A paste squish. <laughs> These are pretty heavy. I guess I weigh more than one stone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my toothpaste is also white. What was the... What was that toothpaste that had the... It was like red, white, and blue? Used to... That's always felt like fancy toothpaste to me. Aqua Fresh. Yeah, yeah. I always thought that was... Uh, some fancy shit. Crest probably has some too, yeah. I, I was thinking Aquafresh. Anybody home? America's toothpaste. Let's hear some uh let's hear some nice songs. Some nice kitchen songs. Too strong mint. I, I'm a big fan of mint. I like mint. So, you know, I'm down with brushing my teeth. I'll just like eat a tube of toothpaste if I'm really, uh, you know, wanting some mint. Uh, yeah. Darkness is a drunk. Turn my crank and watch me spew. Turn my crank and watch me spew. It's Mr. Dweebus. Thank you for the 40 months. <laughs> Love to cut, slice, mince, and splash. My job's a run without much cash. Give it to me and I'll take it right up. The darkness where he'll cobble it up. Okay, what do you guys think? Oh shit! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Does that mean we're gonna use the dumb waiter this one? We might actually be on a different branch. This is one of those. Okay, dumb the dumb waiter. Does it? Is it teeth, or is it like gums? That's a it's a no, no. We allow it. No, we simply can't allow it. Oops. Teeth. They always looked so weird. Shortly, I'll be chewed. Nevertheless, I must conclude. Wooden teeth? Okay, I could see that. Uh, now for the worst. Oh my god, he's got a little dance. <laughs> Is he doing a little booby jiggle? Was he doing like a... <laughs> okay, the worst singer is definitely the fridge. I can't let you in for you. Might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Awful. Somebody unplugged this guy, right? Going down. Okay. I wonder if we do get to use the dumb waiter in this one. We'll see.
Oh yeah, he might leak over my floor and create mold. That's what his song should be about. Whoa, what happened? That's a great question. Has anyone been in a house with a dumb waiter? I also only know them from adventure games. I can't say that I've actually uh, seen one before. Why aren't you moving anymore? Hello? Did you use it or did you just observe it? Maybe I should turn on the music again. Well, I guess that's not going to Observed? Work. You've been in one? That would freak me the fuck out. I wouldn't do that. Go sh go sh go sh All right, he's gone. I think that's what people say when I leave a room. I that's what I imagine. <laughs> that's what I imagine is said anytime I exit a room. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It is. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to The Brain Tickler, the game where you get to show how smart you really are. Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink, but you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing The, the Brain Tickler. Tickler. I'm gonna get tickled. Let's meet our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. This would have scared the shit out of you as a kid. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. He'll be asked questions from four categories. It's just a door with an oddly rendered face. From each of the categories, he wins! But they got the eyeball wrinkles. Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today... Yeah, he's he is oddly detailed. Cosmology, fruits, and the land of darkness. I got this. I got this. Sir Sloth, thank you for the 14 months. Hey, Ian! Hope you're doing well this Monday evening. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Fruits? I'll take fruits, please. Fruits, please. All right. Here is your question. What color is an orange? Uh, Stoudman. Sam is uh, Bobby Hill. Yeah, Pamela Alden. Um, Blue? No, I'm sorry. There are no blue oranges. The correct answer is orange. Oh. But don't worry. There are plenty of questions left, so you can try it. <laughs> I wish they were just like, turns out you're too stupid to go through these doors. Sorry, bye. I'll take anatomy, please. All right. Here is your question. On what part of the body would you wear a sock? The hand, the foot, the head, or in the nose? What part of the body would you wear a sock? I mean, you could do like a hand puppet. The hand. No, no, I'm sorry. The mm. answer is the foot. Mm. But don't worry. There this is tough this time around. I, us I usually get these right away. That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. Let me try cosmology. All right. Here is your question. How long does a manicure... Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, that's a cosmetology question. <laughs> Kids aren't going to get that. <laughs> a star formed. Um, movie studio promoters. The movie studio promotes them as though there's something wrong with you, if you don't already know who they are. The movie studio promotes them as though there's something wrong with you, if you don't already know who they are. Yes, well, although that wasn't the kind of star we meant, your answer was so insightful that we'll give it to you anyway. Yeah. Um, 
I like this. They they do give you technically true answers occasionally. You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Okay, I got this one. I got this now. Anatomy, please. All right. Here is your question. The head bone is connected to the neck bone. That's correct. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> Two down, two to go. All right. Which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? How many contestants do you think these guys get? I'll take fruits, please. All right. Here is your question. What color is an orange? Okay. They already told me this All one, right. so. That's correct. You're Jeez. really on the roll now. <laughs> nice thrusting dance from Sam. Are you? Ready for your final category. Um, uh, uh, I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading hmm. of the meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? Gee, I don't think I've ever been over there. Okay, let's go to the mines. Oh, wait, no, I need the, uh, hey, you can always go I need the oil right? first. That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. Can we take a break and I'll come back later? Of course we can. Because there's always time for the Brain Tickler. We'll be back after a few short messages. Bup, 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 bup. The Chicken Man cometh. Thank you for the 19 months. A very moosey Halloween to all. Thank you so much, Chicken Man. Yeah, who whose brains feel tickled now? Okay, I'm gonna go get the oil and then check out the mines because I wanna know if I lucked out and got the the uh the RNG that I wanted to get for this. Hi! Hello, my name's Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Should just restart until I get the RNG. I guess I could. Nice weather we're having, huh? Um, yeah. Yeah, Otto's my favorite, definitely. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. I can't go in the water, I'd sink. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? <laughs> Straight to the bottom, it's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. I wish I'd been a car. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See, it floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Go on, give it a try. I guess. Huh? I mean, I'm not gonna save you if you sink. Uh... So far, so good. Ah. Well, here goes nothing. Doing it! I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Let's go, dude! Oh. oh. That's Let's not sail. what I wanted to well, do. Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. <laughs> I always love that exchange. Okay, let's get the oil. And, uh... See... It's an oil can. And there's some oil in it. I think we're on the regular route. I would do a restart because I can uh, I can skip everything. I can get back to where we're at pretty quick. 
But let me check to make sure. Yeah, so for those that don't know, these these uh, old Humongous games, they have like alternate routes and, and stuff ends up in different locations. Uh, but I've just done the basic path on this over and over again. Don't forget the Chobu Chans. No, I don't think this has the same menu as Pajama Sam 3 where you can see the route you're on. I think you just have to figure it out. Yahoo! See, that's the thing. This isn't the first time it's been booted. I've definitely played this game on this computer at least a couple well, times. To that spot for years, but now thanks to you and your can oil, I'm king of the tracks again. What'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam. King owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. Let's do it. Yeah, we did miss Rust. Sorry about that. Rust. Yeah. What do you think? Should I start over and try and get a new... Look, that's my sock. New route? There's a route where there's a, a split here. Do it. I'll try it once. Because I know I can get back here really quick. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Now let's see how fast I can get to, uh... uh oh, I see a sock. Hey. Boink. Hey. Boink. Let's go. I'll go back get the socks in a bit. I just I want to see if I get. Oh, different, different, different. The uh, doorknob's already on here. And there's some oil in it. Uh, I don't know when we're starting other games. Um, I'm playing this game currently, and that's all. That's all I know. I think the hinges are rusty. These brum, hinges look brum, brum. rusty. I better oil them. Brum, brum, brum. That did the trick. Okay, I'll just go with whatever route this is, even if it's not the uh, the mine wow. way. Wow. Yeah, see the hammer. Oh, what do you do the? I think you're supposed to bring the hammer to the cheese and crackers guy. <laughs> Check to the hammer. Yeah, well, you don't want. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that hammer's functional. I'll be back. I'll be back. We'll be back over there, I promise. I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. I'm going to go to the mines first. I'm still kind of rushing to the mines because I want to see uh, if this is the one where we need the the pencil. Another sock. Okay, I'll, I'll let him say rust this time. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm gonna capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop to loop. Oh, the fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah. Rust! Rust! There's a rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. 
I get filled up with pigeon shit. Look, that's my sock. I think uh, Pamela Alden did voice Spinelli from Recess. I think that's right. Man, I haven't seen Recess in forever. I think maybe this might help your wheels. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of Recess is the movie. Hey, hey. And uh, the when they did uh, Green Tambourine in the credits, <laughs> for some reason that's the first thing I think of. Ooh, yeah! Yahoo! King of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, the king will take you. How is this wooden track sitting, like, in the lava, right? That's questionable construction. Yeah! Yeah, this is what I've been looking for. I wonder how it got here. Do I just have to use the hammer for this one? These boards are stuck on here pretty good. That's not... <laughs> Wait, we give uncle, uncle. I was tired of that job anyway. Let's try to find work at the floor. Do you think we'll get any severance pay? Bye now, have a nice day. Let's try to fly, find work as a floor. The <laughs> Seinfeld soundtrack. Okay, yeah, we need the pencil. I think we get the pencil at the cheese and crackers area, which means I need some gold. Might as well check this. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to have a different question then. What are you going to do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mine and gold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go get some gold. Keep your eyes out for socks. See no socks. See no socks. No. Oh. Go this way. No. Can you only get one at a time? You might not be able to get two at a time. All right. That's fun. Hey, look at bum, that. Bum, 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 wow, bum, bum. this must be gold. Hey, I found a sock back there. <laughs> Whoa, look at all this gold. Oh, shit, I got a sock. I warned you to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have a small piece. No. No. Deal. No. Mine. I freed you from the rust. That should be enough. What are you going to use the gold for anyway, dude? I see no sock. I see no sock. Okay. Bye -bye. Let's go check the quiz and see what the Land of Darkness question is. So we can be on the lookout. Yep, this is Oh, I see this it. This is how it's all right. 
Oink. Give me another sock. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. Spoilers! Zexter, let me get there, let me get there. Uh, Splort. <laughs> these are pretty heavy. Turn my crank and watch me spew. That <laughs> was a very, uh... The elevator just doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't make any sense how you use it to get up or down. It just does not seem like a well-designed... Our Simpson Tasty French Fries go with every piece of engineering. Super Junior Trash! Anybody home? Thank you for the $4. Hello! Stopping by really quickly. I'm working three jobs this semester and attending law school, so I'm a wee bit busy. I love that we completed Nance 4. Can't wait for more. Thank you so much, Super Junior Trash. Good luck in your law school. I have a friend who uh, went through law school not too long ago. That's uh, that's no joke. Good luck. You can do it. All right. Brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worms, rocket science, fruits, and land of darkness. Worms, please. All right, here is your question. Which worm is a favorite food among mammals, birds, reptiles, and carnivorous invertebrates? Gummy worm. Gummy worm. Meal worm. You are absolutely right. I love gummy worms. That's one category down and three to go. You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. When I think of uh, gummy worms, I always think of the trolley, the sour ones. I know that I know that the regular gummy worms are are regular, but any time now. Haven't had gummy worms in ages. I used to get them in. Uh, Rocket science. Dirt cups at the grocery store. We're like uh, pudding, cake, Oreo, and a couple gummy worms. How much solid fuel is required to boost a space shuttle into orbit? Really a lot. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right. I can do it. Remaining two categories. Would you like to try next? I'm smart enough. I can tell. I'll take fruits, please. All right. Here is your question. What color is an orange? I got it. I got it. Orange. That's correct. G. You're really on a roll now. G. Are you ready for your final game? You just noticed their teeny tiny little freak arms? There, you know, it's a vine. Are their arms tiny or are their heads just giant? Land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What color are the flowers in the garden on the other side of the river? Well, I'll be right back. We'll take a break. Yeah, he's holding the microphone. Of course we can. With one of those teeny arms. Always time for... The Brain Tickler! We'll be back after a few short messages. Did you not notice? You'll have to notice next time we, uh... When we come back to answer the question. Yeah, they got, the, the other guy has one that he pulls out. I think he has, like, a note card that he holds. Sock. That looks like one of my big brother Mark's socks. I 
think... What happened? I think there's a, a branch where something gets stuck under the couch or something like this, and so you have to sneak in while dancing. All right, he's gone! Um, the mask? Yeah, see, I don't remember. They, I've, I've played that route so few times. Chunks of food for darkness is stew. Turn my crank and watch me spew. Turn my crank and watch me spew would be a great donation alert. <laughs> Okay. Fridge again? Okay, well, we'll do the fridge next time I'm up. I'm upstairs. I'm gonna go back to the the main, or the entry here, just to get any socks I might have missed. Just a quick little check. Mm-hmm. Burm, 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 So uh, guess this route doesn't have any salad liberation front. I actually don't know. We'll just have to find out. I know that we go into the the tunnel, and uh, that's about it. Oh, the mask! The mask is for the the carrot. The mask that gets trapped under the the couch. I'm assuming that's that's got to be for the carrot, right? Okay, let's uh let's go over here. What? Fryer Jaka. Oh, Fryer Jaka. Neat, an old hollow log. Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Oh wait, I shouldn't I shouldn't do this yet. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. I think I'm stuck. Oh, I see a sock. Yes. Oh, you guys saw it first. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. I can't get the sock while I'm... There we go. Phew. I did not like the, the tree disguise. Uh, always made me a little uncomfortable. I feel like getting your head stuck in a log would I'll be, be terrifying. Okay, I'll leave the meter running. Huh? Well, um, I had this friend, and he's a taxi, and... Okay, bye bye now, bye bye <laughs> Yeah, what if there's a spider in there? How many times have I played this? A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of times. I mean, I, I've been playing this since I was a little baby. Hold! Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary to- Oh no, this isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you gonna take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Stuff? Phew, that's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No? This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. <laughs> now, be off with you. Oh man, I'm not a tree. A lot of my friends are trees. Really? I know the tree across the river who holds the rope. Nice try. I'll be your best friend if you let me go past. Huh, trees only. I'm afraid we simply can't let you pass unless you're a tree. Couldn't I please? You don't look like a tree to me. Fine. I mean, I, I, I have some tree-like qualities at the very least. I wouldn't say that I look like a tree, but I feel like I have tree-like features. Still no frog in here. Whoa! Yeah, the hair is kind of tree-like. Oh. 
Also, this tree disguise, it looks like the roots are on the top. I don't know. It shouldn't fool anybody, really. Good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. Oh. The flowers are pink. We do have the salad liberation front. Yay, one of my socks! Is that my pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. Yeah, the fact that the carrot just floats there is bizarre. Uh, and also, I love that Sam is just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit about what you're talking. I just want my mask back. Tells Otto to shut up. Love it. My name's Sam. You can call me Fingelbert Brayfoglop. Where'd you get a name like that? I didn't say it was my name. I just said you could call me that if you want to. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my pajama Sam mask, capture darkness with my flashlight, and keep him in my lunchbox. Where does that water go? Why, into the hole, of course. After the water goes down the hole, what happens to it? It makes a stream underneath us, and then the bucket brings it back up again. Why do you pour the water down the hole if you're just going to bring it up again? We have to pour the water down the hole to make the stream. Why do you have to make a stream? Silly. If we didn't make the stream, we wouldn't have a source of water. So the only reason you're making the stream is so you'll have water to make the stream? What are you trying to do? Put me out of a job? <laughs> That's because you're not a trained professional like me. I see. Wouldn't you be even better off if you made two streams? Then you'd have twice as much water. Oh, Brayden, huh? Interesting day. Have you thought about my two stream idea yet? Ik ben ook bezig met het voorontwerp. Het is een ingewikkelde affaire. Have you thought about my two stream idea yet? Ik ben ook bezig met What is happening? <laughs> It is an ingewikkelde affair. Dutch? Why the voice changes? The Dutch glitch? Is that a thing? The famous Dutch glitch. Is everybody going to be in Dutch now or just this guy? Hey, Penny. I wish. I wish the grass were greener oh. here. Why are you wishing? I threw the penny in. Who's the wishing well here, you or me? Oh. I thought he was just like, you know, I thought he was uh, just giving me the runaround, like ignoring me. Have you thought about my two-stream idea yet? Ik ben ook bezig met het voorontwerp. Het is een ingewikkelde affaire. Okay, this is a Dutch percent pajama Sam run now. Okay, I think I'm good here. Whoa! Good fortune to you. Thank you, fellow tree. What happens if you try to go back with... I don't know that you can go back without the tree. I think he probably just puts it on. I think it's automatic, yeah. Oh, it's your native language? Could you translate for us? Translate the Dutch? I don't feel so good. 
It's too late now because I'm all the way out here. Is there actually a Dutch version? Oh, someone already did? Hold on, what did it say? It's a complicated matter. That's cool. I did not know about the Dutch glitch. I'd never heard... I've never had that happen before. Hi, I'm Sam. I'd like to cross the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of mm. gold. He makes the weirdest fucking face. Here you go. This should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. I don't like how the bridge oh, looks. Rock. Not a fan. There's the pencil. This pencil says construction crew on it. That's right. I'm the most important member of the Land of Darkness construction crew. Without me, they wouldn't know what to do. If you're so important, why are you hanging around in the park instead of working with the construction crew? I'd rather not talk about it. Want to come along with me for a while? Sure. It has to be more exciting than sitting around waiting for one of these old loafers to make a move. All right. Yep, just slide right into my uh, cape area. Uh, Havarti. I'm fine. Havarti. No, no, I said Havarti. Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. <laughs> Pay attention. First, you need to choose which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. Played this like 80 times and you've never seen the pencil. In a row before I get three crackers in a row. Yeah, I don't need the full explanation. Yeah, I feel like this game really does, it makes you do the basic route most of the time. Now it's my turn. Now you move. Now it's my turn. Fucking moron. Darn you won. I'll beat you next time. What did that word that you said before mean? Avarti? That's what you say when you want to play cheese and crackers with someone. And then if they want to play too, they say provolone back to you. Oh, I get it. Avarti. Provolone. Try to get four in a row. Try to get four in a row. Now you move. Provolone. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Brave little toaster really let himself go. I honestly don't remember much about the Brave Little Toaster. I definitely watched it. Dude, this guy sucks. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. Yeah, I remember it being, like, I, I know it has a reputation of being, like, dark and scary, but I don't really remember why. Sprout Stuff! Thank you so much for the 85 months! Havarti! Thanks so much, Sprout. In a row. Can I eat the cheese when we're done playing? Sorry, kid. The cheese stays here in the park. I'll go first. I'll go first. Now you move. Now it's my turn. Now you move. Now it's my turn. Trying to get five in a row, right? Hey! 
Hey! Now you move. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. No. Okay, well. Obliterated. This dude's entire life is playing cheese and crackers and he fucking sucks at it. I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. I don't like how Sam was looking right there. All right. Sock. Hey, I got another sock. There wasn't a sock in here, was there? Hot dogs. Oh, this is the one where I need the magnet. Hey, there's my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. There goes King. I need it to put darkness in when I capture it. It's my portable bad guy containment unit, just like Pajama Man. Oh, I see. Rex, can't reach it. I have never gone magnet fishing. No, I can't say that I have. Okay, this is blocked off. This is usually a path to the uh, the wishing well. I spy sock. Whoa, did you see that? That looks like fun. Um, sure. Fun. Right. Dude, happy pre-birthday, Rymo Mori. Hey, one of my socks! Which pajama Sam character do I relate to the most? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Which which do you guys think I uh is most most me? The boat? I like the boat the best. I don't know that I relate to the boat. Let's do it again. Ooh, yeah. The well, actually. The well's not a bad. Minecart? I could see minecart. Can I speak Dutch? No, but maybe if I'm glitched, I would. I'm the, uh, I'm the meat grinder. Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. <laughs> Just keep tapping Ian until he starts speaking Dutch. Be a great skill to have, though. I don't know when it would be useful, but it, it surely would be useful occasionally. I remember this project. We were working on it just before I don't like those this. workers mixed me up with a scoring pencil and left me out at the park. Let's finish the job. Sam looks like he's about to do something dirty. I'm a little rusty at this. You're gonna have to help me out. Looks like you'll need to count by threes. I hope you know. By threes? How am I supposed to know that? Six. Nine. Twelve. Fifteen. 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now that's a fine piece of work if I must say so. My. That's terrible. Ah! 
Bird, there you are. I thought we lost you for two. Jim Jim! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Whoops, gotta go. It's been great working with you, kid. Yeah, uh, bye-bye. You know, it's time you bozos learn to appreciate the difference between a fine piece of drawing apparatus like myself and a cheap scorecard pencil. Uh, about, about, about the same, I think. Turn out the light! Oh, wow. Oh, shit, it's dark in here? Oh. That's my flashlight. Huh. I'll bet that was my flashlight back there. I don't know how to turn the lights on there. I'm gonna actually have to figure... Oh, wait, that's probably that lever up there, right? Some kind of a big switch. It's switched off right now. Yeah, switch it then. That's the second biggest switch I've ever seen. I wonder what it controls. Let's see here... Bet if I reach for the switch when I jump out of the now, I tried that. I tried that. There we go. I flipped it. Good for you. Speed run record for this has to be very short, very very short, because you can hit escape to skip every cutscene. It can't be that long. Forty-three minutes? Really? That seems long. It's a hook attached to that thing up there. I like the chandelier here. Okay, forty-three seconds? Okay. Oh, right. What a crank turning in this it's path. I bet if I hold you up here with it, we could get up some real speed. All right, let's try it. Well, I think it's broken. This seems like a very dangerous thing to be climbing. Okay, uh, well, I need some type of gear. I wonder if it's past the doorways. I don't need the oars, which are in the music room. Eldritch dildos. Thank you for the seven months. Thank you. Thank you. Are there different for the world record runs? Do they have different, uh, like, for the different paths? Different record for each path? Or is it just one flat run and you, you go for whichever is the fastest path? Already did that. Though I haven't gone to the... I haven't been everywhere in the mines because I haven't been to the the snake mini game. Any percent all socks and no skips. You need a ride through the mines, a king will take you. Love to hear me try and pronounce your username, which is Dutch. Uh, Zik Zikmakend, Zikmakend, something like that. <laughs> I'm sure I'm very close. I have to activate my Dutch glitch, uh, and then I'd get it. Uh, perfectly see a hundred bunny my part Dutch sure why not fridge we want to hear the fridge sing and then I'll give him the carrot I can't let you in, but you might liberate the carrots that I'm holding for the huge green salad. Bump, bump. 
bum, 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 bum. Chunks of food for darknesses to turn my crank and watch me spew. <laughs> You open the door since I have another victim. What? I surrender, not ever. Oh, wait. Now I see. You now have captured that troublesome carrot eater guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh, no. Our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for not We are diminished. We believe in. Hey guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. Free! Yes, free! Free! Uh -huh. Free! 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 Yeah. Free! Yeah. Free! 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 I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. Yeah. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. How does it fit both my giant ass head and a teeny tiny carrot? In darkness's house, it's always lunchtime. All, All the time, time lunchtime, lunchtime, munchtime, crunch time. It's poetry, really. Zarek Amory, thank you for the 17 months. Turn my crank and watch me spew. Pass. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go back here. Welcome back to the Brain Tickler, ladies and gentlemen. As you'll recall, yeah, be sure be sure to observe the arm, his tiny little arm. If you haven't observed it yet, Our categories today are the land of darkness. I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question: What color are the flowers in the garden on the other side? I guess they're purple. They looked pink to me. Purple. That's absolutely right. You've correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion. Yeah, they looked very pink to me. Children don't know what pink is. Gee, thanks. Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won. Blink, as the new grand champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. I gotta point out, because you've got the arms, but I gotta make sure you guys see the hair, too. The vines make, like, a right now if I want hairstyles for each of them, just in case. Thank you for being here with us on... Oh, uh, that has not been observed. Until next time, this is Wink and Blink. Saying, is his hair made of arm or arm made of hair? Lincoln Blake's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. Bye bye. Yeah, I don't think we need anything in here. I'm gonna check. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> hey, hey, check this out. I'd swing my arms if I had any arms. My arms rest away. I'm nodding my head because I have a head moving ahead today. Beautiful. This simple me is not by me. I'd never write such travesty. This is depraved. This is depraved. Beethoven's rolling in his grave. 
Beautiful. There's uh, there's sometimes oars up on the wall that you use with the boat. You gotta like climb up and swing on the chandelier to get to them. Have you ever tangled with a mango or a pineapple or peach? Maybe you should mumble with a manatee in the grass cut at the beach. You're right, Sam does not look very interested in what's happening here. He's like, there's no cranking in this room. Who gives a shit? Oh, right. The clock. I forgot about this guy. He's not usually here. Hi. I'm. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what gear I needed. Oh, tell me, let me guess. You're here to defeat darkness, right? How did you know that? Seen it before, boy. You I want to say it's the top one. Oh, heavens no. Oh. Like those gears, do you? They're really great. Well, I tell you what, I'll let you have any one you want if you'll set my hands to the correct time for me. Okay. Okay. I don't know what time it is. Well, maybe you could ask one of the younger clocks around here. They'd probably know the little smart Alex. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, smart ass. I think this is the one we need. Uh, let's go get the time. Mr. Grand Champion. Why do they close their eyes when they like open and open and close doors? Two forty-five. All right, he's gone. So we actually did use this room for something. I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh, shh. It's the grand champion. <laughs> I love them bickering. Oh, my God, to prevent motion sickness? Champion! Hi. Uh, that's a great guess. Okay, 2.45. Right door is definitely a bottom. It's a door, dude. <laughs> Have there been a lot of kids here before me? Seems like a lot, yes. Of course, I've been here a long time. A real long time. Did they have cable television when you were first built? Oh, no. I'm much older than that. What about... Okay. Were there cars when... No, I want to set the time. There weren't even cars then. I still don't know what time it is. Yeah, I do. You'll probably find another clock that knows. Oh my god, I gotta click on the clock. I guess Sam didn't see it. The clock is facing away from him, so... According to this clock, it's 2.45. Great. Okay, I don't see him anymore. Dude, Pixel DeBose. Thank you for the prime sub. I realize that's true, but fair's fair. And oh, wow. it's the grand champion. They're <laughs> still fighting about it. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion. Hi. I agree about the art style. I really, that, I've said it numerous times, but it's definitely my favorite of the Pajama Sam games. I love how dark all the uh, shading is. David Ketchup, thank you for the eight months. What about wheels? Had wheels been invented when you were built? That's not funny. Of course there were wheels then, otherwise how could I have all these gears? Okay, I'll try to set the time for you so I can get a gear. Ah. Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. Say, nice job. Thank you, son. You go ahead and pick out a gear for yourself now. I'm pretty sure it's this one. It's either this one or it's the other silver one. Thanks for the gear, Grandpa. And I agree, it does look like 145 on the clock. I got a sock! Couldn't we have set it to anything and he wouldn't have known? That's a very good point. Sam is just too honest for that. But I actually think that would be hilarious. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. Maybe there's a clue around here somewhere. The Book of Clues. If secret doors you would go through, you must push in only blue. Oh! I think I saw something on the other side of the door. Okay, well, we gotta get that. I love these candles. I, I saw something on the other side of the door. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. Well... Here we are, burning. Without one of his cogs, isn't he not even going to be able to keep time properly? You know, we don't need to think about that. <laughs> Here we are burning. I hate being a candle. Yeah, decorative cogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Try weekly asp. Thank you for the seven months. I think I saw something on the other side of the door. I don't know. Another sock. Okay, I don't think we're going to need any of the magics. Wow, this is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. Hey, I got another sock. Close. I'm pretty sure the only reason you use these is to turn invisible and then ride the dumbwaiter up. Oh, yeah, okay, you ride the dumbwaiter up and that's... That must be how you get into the dancing room while they're still dancing. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Now this is the first game. Mixing yellow green and <laughs> disguise. Off with his head. Must have missed all this in your playthrough. Yeah, if you played the basic route, uh, there's a lot of the stuff you would not have to do, or some of it you wouldn't even be able to do. Is the third one the food one? I like the food one more than I like the uh, the weather one. Good marshmallow, yellow. Yeah, the food one goes back to kind of a darker art style. The, I really don't like how bright the weather one is. I don't like being up in the clouds as Sam. It's too... I want to be in the darkness. Thought it was I have to pee and everyone hates me. Oh, let me... Uh, actually, that reminds me. Wow, I'm invisible. I still have this on the box. I still have Pajama Sam 5 in When You Have No Friends, It's a Sad, Lonely End, which longtime fans will know <laughs> where it came from. I don't know how many years ago that was. Many, many years ago. But I keep forgetting it's there, and then I'll, I'll pull the box out, and I'll be like, holy shit. <laughs> Just 
feels like I just made that video. That was a really long time. Really long time. When I when would I have uh That would had to be like six or seven years ago, right? Let me look. I'll look. Orange. December 7th, 2014. December 7th, 2014. Super brain. Yeah, so it wasn't that long ago, was it? Yeah, it was forever ago. I've become staggeringly intelligent. All the world's knowledge is mine. That's how big my forehead is. Except lift my enormous head off the counter. Was it not the one from last year? I'm not sure what last year, uh, what you're referring to. Irish Mixtape 60, thank you for the two months. Hey, Ian, long time no see. Thank you for providing good content. You make me laugh when I'm struggling with health issues and my birthday this week. Thank you again. Much love. Hey, happy birthday, Irish Mixtape. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my Pajama Sam 4 video. Did I reference? I'm pretty sure I made this in the, the Pushing Up Roses one. Did I not? I think I made this with my Ian and friend Pushing Up uh, Roses. But maybe I did. Maybe... Mm, what I have if I used it in the, the Pajama Sam 4 video... I wonder if I reused it from Ian and Friend, or if I made it just... Okay, maybe it was just a... I don't know, now I'm doubting. I thought that I made this for... The Roses collab, but I'm not going to go back and watch it, because I'm a little baby back then, and I would rather not uh, see myself like that. Someone else is going to have to do the research. Yellow. I know that I made... I made a Pajama Sam, like, taxes joke in the Roses one. Maybe, maybe the... Maybe this one is from PJ Sam 4. In which case, it would not be from 2014. Water Lily, so, so, thank you for the four months. Hey, Ian, thanks for all the amazing content and streams. Hope you're having a good one. I'm doing all right, Water Lily. Thank you so much. Fish from the air. Making you feel crazy? That's fine. That's just how I always feel anyway, so. Time's not linear, you know? It was, uh, it was last year. It was 2014. Whoa! I like that one. Yeah, I want this potion, too. I like that he goes hippie. He's like, yeah, man, peace. Wow. It's in the PJ4 video? Okay. Okay, then it was only a year or so ago. Well, it was a little over a year. A couple years ago? Did I make any fake boxes? Well, never mind. I don't want to know. What up, Cassie? Wow. They only had doors like this on TV. I wonder what this button does. 
Did I not do invisibility? I'll do invisibility real quick. It just makes you invisible. Like I said, I don't think we use invisibility for this run. I did do it. Oh my god, there's so many different ones. I haven't done all of these. I'm on TV! <laughs> hey, let me out! There's nothing to do in here. Oddly terrifying. Fat Bat Gaming! Thank you for the 12 months. Wah, a whole year. Your Bingo 98 and VHS party streams are the most fun I've ever had in a stream. Thanks for being cool. Thanks so much, Fat Bat Gaming. It'll be fun to do more bingo and VHS down the line sometime. I'm sure that's in the cards. Not in my immediate plans, but... What have I been up to? I've been, uh... Playing in Pajama Sam. Howdy, Sam. Hi, King. Oh, my God. I thought this was going to be a shorter stream, but it's going to be like a regular size. I'm kind of taking my time. Okay... Let's go. Let's go see if I got the right cog. Yeah, now I've I've Thinking about 2014. Windows Windows 98 was a, an operating system, or I guess it is an operating system that I, I'm currently using. Not much use until we get the winch fixed. Hey, that tickles. Oh, like win or lose? Yes, I've I I probably have won this game ninety eight times though. All right, it's working. I fixed it. Pajama Sam, master mechanic. Now they knew what they knew what Windows ninety eight was. They were confused by my abbreviation. Ooh, we're way up high now. Did not seem safe. Okay, now I just need the magnet. We got the flashlight. Yeah, I just need the magnet. Signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox, and I'll be ready for darkness. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say that, but that's fine. Oh, thinking it was like Bingo 98. We did play this on Bingo 98. <laughs> Finished watching all the recent Nancy Drew VODs, and I kept saying that I didn't know how the elevator suddenly started working, but near the beginning of the game, I pulled the elevator reset switch six times. But... <sighs> I feel like I pulled it after that, too, and the, the thing didn't work. I still don't totally get uh, how the elevator worked in, in that Nancy Drew game. Okay, let's go get the magnet. The last sock could very well be in, like, the last room. Let me go, uh... Let me see if it's upstairs. Like, it could be in Darkness's room. I think you'd look better on camera if you were painted a different color. Because of the lighting on that side, you say... Uh, whoops, we'll continue this later. <laughs> 
Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Okay, it could be up here. Yeah, here it is. Oh my gosh, darkness must be right behind this door. Boom. Oh, another sock. Look, I got all my socks. Mom's going to be so proud of me. I'm sure Mom will be glad I picked them all up. Oh, I wish I got to make the laundry go. There we go. All socks. What up, Pep? Putt Putt should have had like a spooky Halloween. I'd like to see how you can manage things without me. I mean, shh. <laughs> Just constantly fighting. Ow. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion. Hi. Going to the moon is pretty scary. That's that's true. It doesn't really have that spooky theme though. He should have done like a car town trick or treat or a trunk or treat. It would have been perfect. Cybernator 2, thank you for the 21 months. Ian, nice to see you on the kitchen TV while I cook yet again. Hope the fall colors are finding you well. Yes, I do. The The fall colors are very nice. What are you cooking, Cybernator? Hey, I'm are you turning any kitchen cranks to watch it spew? This is sure to come in. The most exciting part of cooking? <laughs> Put Put visits the scrapyard. I love that. <laughs> Put Put goes to hell. I mean, I would play all of these ideas. I think all of these ideas sound amazing. Meet balls? That's what I'm having for dinner uh, tonight. I'm having some meet the balls. Chunks of food for darkness to stew. Turn my crank and watch me spew. That's gonna be a donation alert. Just, just you wait. <laughs> Sleepy Garrett. Thank you for the two months. I know I have to make new donation alerts. It's true. Ah! So many things to do. So little times. It's true. It's true, Chaka. Listen, listen. At my at my core, I'm still I'm an idea man, okay? Sometimes I'm not so much with the execution. I just I get a lot of good ideas. Hello? I've got an idea. What are you going to do with that? Magnets attract metal, you know. Oh, no. I don't think they do. Why is this friend and... Well, what do you know? I got my lunchbox. All right. Watch out, darkness. Pajama Sam is ready to roll. Basic physics classes for Otto. Listen, he's a boat. He didn't go to any physics classes. He just, uh, you know, he just hears things from other boats. Want to hear Dutch, Otto? We could play. Uh, I was going to say we could play the game in Dutch next time, but I wouldn't like that. I, I, like, I like hearing what they say. Yeah, that was fun. Let's do it again. Um, how about not right away, okay? Bum, bum, 
It's a shame that the characters never come back. Like in the other games, it'd be cool to see Otto again. Spy Fox follow up. Uh, we'll play. I'm sure we'll play Spy Fox one of these years. <laughs> I'm playing this one specifically because it's uh, a little more October themed. So it's a, well, yeah, it's spooky esque. That time when you insisted on doing that whistling duet with that action film star. Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh <laughs> a whistling duet with an Great action day. film star. Great champion oh yeah the carrot does come back that's true uh, arcade games are that's yeah, not exactly the same should get more celebrities to do guest spots I, I bet we could get that guy from the same time you know the one where he shares the apartment with the two women and the landlord comes <gasps> heads up good evening mr. grand champion Hi. I want to see what else they bicker about. Oh, are they done? Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi. <laughs> Shove money at your game designer friend and force him to make a knockoff putt-putt. It would be fun to envision like a... A more a more adult version, uh, putt putt, in his thirties or something. You could make one and try and avoid using the branding. Call him like beep beep or something. All right, I'm ready. Darkness, it is I. Poot poot. <laughs> Give it to the people that made Pissed. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Parody Interactive is still alive and well. Aha! This must be the key. Putt Putt is sold for parts. Yes, it worked! Okay, that's that. Now I'm ready to go into Darkness's closet and capture him. Darkness, here comes Pajama Sam! Darkness, it is I, Pajama Sam! I've come to vanquish you! Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal Pajama Man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear. No one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Dude, everybody was awake. It's the middle of the night and literally everyone was awake. So that does not sound accurate to me. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what do you know? I defeated darkness. Ooh, I didn't see that one. You win! You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. And they never played cheese and crackers again. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <laughs> Get 
right, darkness. He's always watching. Always there. I did get 100% socks. And that was Pajama Sam in No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside. The Pencil Route. Pajama Sam 3 had a more monumental ending. See, I don't... Uh, I don't remember how that one ends. I've only played the other Pajama Sam games a couple times, like, just for streams and review. But, I mean, this was one of the games I had on my childhood computer, and I just, like, played the shit out of it. Dude. Thanks, Cognetto, for gifting those five subs. Don't even remember them? Thank you so much, Cognetto. Very, very generous. The second Pajama Sam is weather. You're in the sky trying to fix the weather that's gone haywire. The third one, you're in food. And then the fourth one is when life is rough and you, you when you lose your stuff. Which I, I think I've only played the maybe the one time for review. Think they'll ever make another one? Probably not. Uh... I'm pretty sure the IP is owned by a company that just continues to like republish and, and sell the existing games. I don't think, I think they've developed anything new in quite some time. Hobby Ham, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. Maybe if someone were to buy it, but even then, I don't think it would be the same because I, I have a hard time imagining someone doing all this like animation for it. Uh, they'd probably do it in like 3D or something. I have to buy you Mugs Entertainment. I can't afford that shit. Oh, wow. What demos came on this? At Humongous Entertainment, we create rich, colorful worlds where your child is in complete control. Our award-winning games are designed with the highest quality in mind, featuring elaborate storylines and the most lovable characters in children's software. These fantastic worlds constantly inspire your children to open their minds to learn, discover, and grow at their own pace. Uh, which, uh, which Putt-Putts they got? Putt-Putt is a lovable convertible whose huge headlight eyes always shine bright with curiosity. Often seen cruising car town with, trademark, with his best pal Pep, trademark, Putt-Putt's an all-around go-getter who is always willing to lend an antenna to help others. Is Putt-Putt not trademarked? He's bright, cheerful, and polite, not to mention brave. Putt-Putt always does his best at the task at hand and is always prepared to take on even the most daunting challenges. It gives you PJ Sam 2, Putt-Putt enters the race, Spy Fox 1, Freddy Fish 4, and Bacard Baseball. Mmm, what a hamburger. Freddy Fish is a spunky young fish who's always up for a new challenge. She is intelligent, alert, assertive, and swims the sea with a certain sw a savior fare. <laughs> uh, not a Doc Martin. Thank you for the five months. Happy spooky season subversary. Gothos was a great time. Thank you for bringing that into my life. I do want to play more Gothos. Yeah, dude, Freddy is a girl. Everyone, no one knows that Freddy is a girl, but it's like... Look at how she spells her name and, like, what she sounds like. It's always fairly obvious to me. She's even been described as the Nancy Drew of the Deep. With her finny friend Luther by her side, she's sure to, sure to solve even the toughest underwater mysteries. She's polite and brave, respects grown-ups, 
and is eager to help those in need. Freddie Fish always tries to do what's right and is not afraid to confront someone who is doing something wrong. Uh, I don't know who described her. Like, let me see. Actually, I'm going to Google that. Let's see how accurate that is. Nancy Drew of the Deep. Uh, comes up with uh, Deep deep Secrets, uh, which is book number 50 in the Nancy Drew Files. Yeah, I don't see anything about Freddie Fish. I suppose they're calling her the Nancy Drew of the Deep just on this screen. Spy Fox is... Spy Fox, the super smooth secret agent who finesses his way through Spy Corp's toughest assignments, is as cool as they come. Impeccably clean and looking sharp in his white tux, Spy Fox always has something to say, even in the stickiest situations. When the going gets tough, our favorite spy guy turns to Monkey Penny, trademark, and Professor Quack, trademark, who dish up helpful information and wacky spy gadgets from the mobile command center. The best of the bad guys don't stand a chance outfoxing this fox. He may just be plain Sam. He may just be fucking loser-ass Sam to his mom and dad, but to the rest of us, he's known as the pint-sized superhero Pajama Sam. Sam chose Pajama as his namesake after his hero, comic book super guy, Pajama Man. Sam assumes the role of Pajama Sam at times uh, when fearlessness and bravery are needed to confront frightening situations. Oh, Pajama Sam 6, he should get into like a copyright uh, dispute with Pajama Man. Sam is feisty but sweet, resourceful, curious, and imaginative. He's also a fan of One Piece PJs. What's the point of all those pieces? You're either in or you're out. And I don't give a shit about these two, really. <laughs> I was never a, never a junior sportser. And I don't even really know junior creations. Oh, oh, it's the one-stop fun shops. Man, they sure were uh, cranking them out and spewing all over the place back in the day. Well, that was, uh, that was my Monday stream. I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out. I will be back on Wednesday for something else, something spooky. I'm going to try and keep it nice and spooky for as long as I can throughout the months, or throughout the month. Uh, I don't know that we're going to do Gothos right away, but I do want to play more Gothos at some point. We'll just see. Uh, but for now... It'll just be another run of Sonic 06. That would be scary. That would be scary. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out. And I will be back in a couple days uh, with something else. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. I'm trying to get better at my goodbyes. I, I linger because it feels weird saying uh, goodbye. Uh, but goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you in a couple days. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. And now, folks, it's goodbye. time to bye -bye. say goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodb